is the lovely SRP19 by Snowy River Caravans. This is a couple's pop top. Now look, we are seeing a lot of Snowy River Caravans on the road these days, and that is for very good reason. Not only do these caravans represent excellent value for money, they also present really nicely. Now the SRP range starts with an 18 footer. It's also available in a family van as well. And that's the same with the 19 foot SRP. It's available in the couples van behind me, as well as a bunk van. So stick around, we'll have a look in and around this caravan. It really is excellent value for money. So here it is, the SRP 19 by Snowy River. Now this caravan uses fiberglass sandwich panel construction with an XPS foam core. The panels are known as Alapex and the roof is also fiberglass, but something that's a bit unique is the fact that, that at the push of a button, the pop top roof can lift up, you can raise this roof electrically and that is just such a back saver. So you don't have to push it up manually anymore, but it's nice to know it can also be operated manually if necessary. Oh, and speaking of the pop-top roof, they've actually provided as standard these special insulation panels for the pop-top gusset, just to keep everything, you know, that little bit warmer on the inside of the van. That's a nice little touch. So setting up this pop-top couldn't be easier, really. It's just a case of undoing your corner catches as per normal. We unclip the awning. We set the awning to open and then we just push a button and up it goes. Okay, let's see what else this caravan has to offer. As standard, the SRP19 has a 100 amp hour lithium battery. There's two 180 watts worth of solar on the roof and there's also a projector power management system. In terms of your fresh water storage, there's two 95 litre tanks. So is this caravan an off-roader? Well, not really. It's more designed for those adventurous, you know, blacktop touring couples that might stay at a free camp now and again, but you know, they'll stop in at holiday parks here and there as well. Up the front of the caravan, you've got a really spacious tunnel boot storage system. There's a couple of gas cylinders on the A-frame. And because it's not a hardcore off-road caravan, there's just your standard 50 mil ball coupling, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Now this van has 15 inch alloy wheels as well as independent torsion suspension. Couple of speakers on the outside, fold down picnic table. I reckon this caravan, it really does cover those essential bases. But why don't we step inside? I really like this layout and I like the colors that they've chosen for this particular rig, but there are up to nine interior themes to choose from. So here we go, the SRP19. This is a bright, clean looking layout. Um, straight away, I notice a few things that I like. Lots of overhead cupboards, but also look at the position of the microwave. It's low and easy to access. And over here, we're gonna have a little slide out pantry, actually quite large. These shelves are a little larger than you might expect, I reckon. And while I'm down here, I did just notice we've got a 240 volt point as well as a 12 volt point in the sort of leg area of the dinette, which just makes sense. It means that you can charge your devices while you're sitting at the dinette without cords being in your way. So this is the pop top insulation that I was talking about. It just Velcros into place. And aside from obviously making the van feel a bit warmer on the inside, it really does make it feel a lot more homey. It's such a good idea. So we've got the 175 litre fridge with a slide out drawer freezer. Now it is a pop top, but that doesn't mean you can't have all those creature comforts, including a full width rear bathroom. Now the bathroom is separated from the rest of the van by this fabric curtain, but uh, look, it's not the hugest bathroom in the world, but there is linen storage. You've got a cassette toilet and a full height shower on the near side of the van. I mean, that looks pretty neat to me. I don't mind the shower setup. So for what is, you know, a fairly limited space, this bathroom feels reasonably spacious. They've fitted quite a bit in here, including, as I said, linen storage, which to me, I think is a bit of a plus. 
Now most caravans are gonna have down lights, but here instead we do have LED lights, but they're secured behind these lovely covers that are also, you know, diffusing the light and giving a soft, warm glow on the inside of the caravan. That's not too harsh the way that down lights can sometimes be. Now, in order to give this van just that little extra bench space, they have managed to recess the cooktop and the griller uh, below bench high. We can lower this, and that's a nice, precise fit, and that gives us a bit more space in the kitchen to work with. That's a nice fit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this caravan is more of a bitumen blacktop touring caravan. You'll do some free camping here and there, but you'll also be staying at holiday parks. Now, this caravan doesn't come standard with an inverter, so when you want to use this Bel Air 2400 reverse cycle air conditioner, obviously you'll need to be plugged in at the caravan park. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's a wonderful way to see Australia. Now we don't have niches in the wardrobes either side of the bed, but what we do have are bedside tables instead. And each bedside table has its own little wireless charging pad for your phone. And we've also got some uh, double power points on either side as well for charging things, I suppose, like your laptop computer overnight. Okay, so a good amount of storage space under the bed, and as we can see, they've actually uh, used some timber as the mounting point for your gas struts. And what's this over here? A little service hatch. Yeah, so that you can access, I suppose, the plumbing behind the hot water service. Okay. And although the space under the bed is somewhat taken up by the housing for the tunnel boot storage, you've still got enough room here, I reckon, for you know, maybe your cam chairs or really just whatever you wanted to throw under there, maybe some board games. And the panels uh, are locked together using this sort of rounded corner. Certainly feels sturdy. So these reading lights actually have like integrated USB points. So another way to charge your devices. This is actually quite a comfortable bed. If you don't mind, I'm going to grab another cushion, another pillow, and maybe have a little snooze. I'll see you in five minutes. So I'm a tall guy, 6'2", but I've still got a couple of inches of headroom above me. So I like the internal height of this pop top. And uh, you know, even at this dinette, I don't have to squeeze to get, to get in. You know, it's quite comfortable. In fact, it's very comfortable. Well, time to take this van for a bit of a test tow. I know a beautiful spot not far from here, right on the foreshore. So let's get underway. While we're heading down to the beach, let's quickly go over some of the other features of this van. There's a 150 litre Thetford fridge, an HB 2400 Horton reverse cycle air conditioner, an Aussie traveler awning, a 24 inch smart TV, a stereo system, a 20 litre microwave, a Dometic cooktop, an external picnic table, and much more. So this SRP19 weighs in at 1,972 kilograms at tear, while the aggregate trailer mass is 2,500 kilos. So that's a shade over 500 kilos worth of payload capacity. Towing this caravan, you know, caravans can often feel like a, a big sail on the back of your vehicle, catching all the wind, not noticing any, any of that uh, with this particular van. Um, it does feel like it's quite well planted. As I said, no feedback from the van whatsoever. Travelling along about 80 k's an hour, and it feels pretty good. You know, coming into town, lower our speed a little bit. So we've just taken the van for a bit of a spin. We've arrived at the beach. A little bit too windy for it, but you know what? The view will be worth it. This is what caravanning is all about.
Well, certainly no issues with the way the SRP19 tows. It was sure-footed and well-planted behind the Ford for the entire duration. And uh, look, this is what caravanning is all about. A good little van, well-built, all those creature comforts, and that electric roof is a bit of a winner in my book. But more importantly, look at this awesome beach. Thank you.